this is kumar shubham and today we are going to talk about this problem chintu's internship project now uh, this problem was given on pod uh, on 7th november and as you can see <laughs> i am myself the author of this problem so um let's just quickly you know uh, read the description of this problem and then try to think how we can solve this problem using regular expressions so the problem is basically uh taken by some real life examples that you may need to solve in your projects or in your companies or anywhere you know simple text uh, uh simple text processing project kind of thing so basically you are given a paragraph in which there is a word and a tag follows that word so you have to extract the word and the tag that that word carries so this is the problem now we'll now the basic solution to this problem would be using regular expressions i i mean it will be a very elegant and easy solution using regular expressions so let's try to think on how we can come up with the regular expression that is required to uh, automatically capture these matches these type of matches this then this and this and at the same time not this right because the condition is a tag should always be followed by a word in this case it is followed by a comma so let's copy this and let's dive to my favorite regular expression website regex101.com i'll share this link in the description as well so you can you know always practice your regular expression skills over here so i'll paste the test string and let's try to come up with a regular expression okay so first thing what we are going to do is we are going to try to match the tags itself okay these tags so they start with a um uh, left square bracket okay open square bracket so to match that we put a square bracket left square okay but this itself is part of the regular expression so we need to escape it to actually tell the regular expression engine that you have to find this not read this as something that's part of the regular expression itself so we escape it using backslash okay so now see it now you can see it visualizes all your regular expression at the run time so you can see that it says we are able to match these four uh, square brackets now so now our tag contains as given in the problem statement our tag contains an id in upper case and a number concatenated by hyphen so we can have small letters so how to give that syntax that whatever this box contains is using square brackets now this these square brackets are part of the regular expressions itself because they are not escaped so a to z capital letters numbers and hyphen so hyphen itself we have given over here and then it again a closing square bracket which is again a closing square bracket which is escaped now this is not matching anything why because it does not know how many i mean it does it's not able to match that because there are a lot of characters a hyphen and number so we should tell that there couldn't be one or more characters like this so we give a plus okay so now we are now as you can see we are able to match all these uh, tags basically so now next part is to only match those cases which have a word being you know word which comes before these tags so for that the definition of the word over here is english alphabets and can include both lower case and upper case letters so before this before tags we'll write square brackets a to b a to z capital letters a to z and one or more that's all so now you can see it finds this 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 and not this because this is this tag is followed this tag is following a comma and not a a word so that's how so this is the basic regular expression required for this problem so now you know let's try and write python code to actually solve this problem pod itself so we're going to do import re then we have our regular expression r Okay. Um. Let's change the language to Python. Okay. Now nah, we have beautiful syntax highlighting. Now let's go. 
okay so now the expression is already defined now we're going to use the ma now we're going to have match found or basically matches found is equal to re dot find all okay this method basically finds all the matches in the given string a regular expression it takes the regular expression as the first argument second argument the match string so the match string we should take it as input so uh, given input is equal to input and give given underscore input now the problem says if you're not able to find anything any match let's see let's see let's see first let's go back to regex 101 and see what do we get any match in this case or not so we went here we change the test string to this and we don't see any matches so yeah our regex works so if there is no match we should print minus one so if there are no matches found then the length of the matches found list is zero right this method re.findall returns a list basically okay so we do if not matches found print minus one okay so far so good now if the matches are found we go ahead and print all those matches in the given format word space the tag now even i do not need an else condition for this because if i just simply write for match in matches underscore found you can see that if there are no matches found this loop itself will not run right so i don't need an if else condition over here so i can just directly write if not matches found print minus one it will print minus one if the matches are not found and it will not even go inside this loop because matches found there's there are no elements inside this list matches found right so let's go so now the word tag pair is equal to uh, um so now we have so we, now we'll have some kind of a string which is some string and a tag we are having values like this what we're going to do is in this string uh, basically we're going to replace left brackets with space and we're going to replace in this word right brackets with nothing basically so we're going to remove right brackets and change the left bracket to a space so basically what we are doing is this string tag will become after this after this step it will become string tag right after this step it will become string tag right so now we can print our word let's try using a custom io and then solve try to solve this problem right let's take this input first give minus one learn our code it says success your code has passed custom test cases now let's go back and copy this big text paste this big text output for this text should be we'll take the output okay paste this run code name word is not defined okay yeah so instead of word what we should uh, basically you can say word is or we can say here itself we can say word so always be careful on the variable names that you use run code see again so the cases pass basically so now you can actually run the code against the test cases found on the server we run it and we get a success your code has passed all test cases so far so good so a basic regular expression you should always go down on the basics right try to use a regex visualizer and build the regular expression from basics from scratch and that's how my friend that's how you're able to basically solve a problem so easily even using regular expressions um so bye for now i'll see you again in another video and please uh now try to solve this problem later on because it's right now it's 10 pm it's been more than two and a half hours since this problem was given and only see around 12 solutions so hope you guys will learn from this and do make use of this regex101.com i'll give the link in the description 
and thanks bye bye thanks for watching this video